Hello and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. It's Morgana here today and I'm delighted to share with you this sweet little snowy painting of one of our favourite winter birds, the robin. I'm using Milford brand cotton paper today, cold press texture and the size is roughly 8 by 8 inches square. This is actually an off cut from a larger damaged piece of watercolour paper that I didn't want to throw away so I decided to put it to good use by drawing out this sweet little bird. Once you've drawn a rough pencil outline of your robin on his branch, protect the robin with masking fluid or drawing gum before laying down some clean water ready to paint the wash. Today I'm keeping my background nice and simple because I'm planning to create a flurry of snow using salt effects. Because of this I've chosen some lovely strong rich colours. This first one is Payne's Grey from Windsor and Newton and now I'm adding some Moonlight from Michael Harding and I'm just blending these colours together wet and wet. To get a little extra texture into the background here, I'm dabbing in some slightly richer paint very loosely with the tips of my mop brush by holding it vertically to the paper and then dabbing straight down. This will hopefully add a hint of soft out of focus movement into the backdrop. Now it's time to add the salt. Once the shine has almost gone off the paper, we can scatter on some fine table salt. I'm putting it across the whole backdrop and then sit back, allow it all to dry and let the magic happen. This is now fully dry and I'm so happy with that flurry of winter snow that the salt effects have produced. So all we need to do now is paint our robin, which I'm going to do using a handful of nice classic colours. Cadmium red hue, burnt sienna, burnt umber, raw umber and a little more Payne's grey.
you can see that by painting wet and wet for the most part you can get some really lovely colour blending on the page and we're also starting to get a little bit of granulation here coming from those rich umber colours which I really like. Once you've got the main shape painted, I find it much easier to switch to a smaller round brush to fill in those final details and just tidy up a little bit around the edges. For the branch I'm using a mixture of both umber colours and a little bit more Payne's Grey which as you can see is a little darker than my background wash. This is why I didn't protect this area with masking fluid at the start of the painting, however if you'd rather paint a slightly paler looking branch against a darker background then simply mask out this area at the same time as you masked out the robin and then once it's all dry and the masking fluid has been removed you may paint it whichever colours you choose. Finally, I'm adding a little bit of careful Payne's Grey for his sweet round eye.
to add some extra snow to this wintry painting, I'm using white gouache from Winsor & Newton. If you don't have this, then some bleed proof white ink should work as well, or you could use an opaque white watercolour paint. For a finishing touch, I'll be spattering some extra white gouache across the paper for some final little flurries of snow. So I'm using this soft masking technique to protect the bird first while I'm adding the main spatters. Then I can remove it once I'm done, so I can add a little bit of slightly more careful spatter detail across the bird, so that all that hard work I've done painting him doesn't get overwhelmed by the blizzard. And that's it everyone, here we are with the finished painting. So thank you everybody for watching and I hope you all enjoyed this wintry snowy video. If you did then perhaps you might like to check out my Patreon page which you can do by simply following the link below to see my other videos like this one. So that's all from me today, wishing you all a wonderful wintry week and very happy painting.